Hey everyone. Hey guys, good evening and welcome to yet another wonderful class at Baijus Champions. I'm Aishwarya and I'm Saurabh and you know us, we have been dealing with a lot of subjectual knowledge but today we are here with something which I would say it's it's uh, quite frequently asked. Sir, thoda motivation yeah. chahiye. We want some motivation, <laughs> we want some motivation and let's let's give you some motivation. Yes. Five ways to stay motivated. Right. And a lot of you have, so a lot of them in the previous class were telling me that they have some exams coming up and you know, they have unit tests and all of that. So guys, and they were telling me, mom, I'm feeling scared, I'm feeling nervous. So I think it will be helpful for them, right? Especially for those of you who have exams very close by. Right. Gun Gun says after a long time. Hey everyone. Yes. Yeah, a new t-shirt. This is also there. Yeah, we just choose to wear black most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pooja, of course I do remember you, right? Okay, guys, a lot of you are here, but again, chat is looking very feeble, no? Yeah. So we'll wait one or two minutes for everybody to join in, right? And they just had a menti quiz, all the eighth graders. So I think oh. for them, the break was very little. I think, yeah, it's, it's a break time for you. Yeah. It's okay. Meanwhile, others are joining. We can just start, first of all, uh, welcome. And second thing is, you know, the name taking, uh, did we forget you? <laughs> we haven't. That's why this session is there, because we haven't forgotten about you. So you can start with... How do you face such situations when you feel demotivated? How do you motivate yourself? Because there was a form also, right? Which yes. these guys filled and they were pretty uh, interesting answers back then. Right. We were very impressed because I don't think we expected those kind of answers and responses yes. from them, right? So really have to say, guys, you have... I mean, I, I know I tell this a lot. You're a very brilliant, right? And very exposed and that's, you know, the exposure is... I think something that we're able to see in the yes. responses and all of that. Yes, we have joined again. That's amazing. Enthusiasm, enthusiasts. Yes. Nice, nice. So when do you feel demotivated? What, what do you think? Because we all have our experiences. There are some points or, you know, in a day or in your life. Because in a day also it comes, by the way, sometimes. But yes, uh, you feel demotivated, no? Okay, are you... I don't think this is going like this. The day yeah. is going bad. I don't know. Mm. Today is not my day. Yeah, today is not my day. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to say that. Listening to positive affirmations. Yes. Thank you, Arsimran. Nice, nice. When our menti goes wrong. That's actually true. And we have been telling this for a very long time. Ki menti mein na, that leaderboards, I understand. Uh, yeah. You feel like you have missed out or yeah, my name is not there even though I was there in the session. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of feeling comes. Yes. Yes. It happens. So today what we're going to do is again, today is a 7 p.m. and I'm sure they had school, they've had classes. So today's class is going to be a very light class, right? So Arab, I don't yes. think we're going to be telling them anything very... You know, in bits and yeah. pieces, no. Every teacher has given you some points in any of their sessions. It's just, we are just trying to consolidate everything today. Yeah, that's okay. it. So today, it's going to be a very simple class, guys. Don't worry. You can sit back, relax, listen to it, right? And just, you know, feel good about it. I think that's very important, right? True. Yes. Oh. Right, we can see all your uh, chats. You have some pretty interesting ways to motivate yourself. And interesting events when you feel demotivated because yes, Sanskrit thing though, I, I resonate with you. <laughs> Alright, so guys, we're going to get started and of course, there is of course this wonderful mini learning program which we've been telling you, we have a limited time offer on it, so Saurabh sir is covering the code but we have the YT free code, I'm just going to write it on top, right? So can we make us a little small? Yeah. <laughs> so we have the YT free code where you have two teacher advantage, live interactive classes and more, right Saurabh? Yeah. So, uh, we just want everyone to try this because you know what, Asa hota hai na, ke, you don't want that, hey, you tried that, someone comes <laughs> to you and you're like, oh, what is it? So people who are here and who haven't seen this before, go ahead, try it out because this is free and it's a limited period of time offer, right? So otherwise it was 399 thing and 
everything which is free i feel very much motivated to try it yeah so see motivation <laughs> class and this is the motivation the code <laughs> is the motivation to try that so go ahead try it free hai you will see something which is not tried before like the two teacher advantage one on one guidance something which was not there before right go ahead explore it hai na bahut badhiya yes some of them are premium students who are here right so that's great so of course If you are new to our class, join our Telegram channel because here Anukriti is already telling. She writes the scanner questions. Yes, nice. So Telegram channel is good, no? By the way, everyone. Because For those of you who are there. Ah, uh, you are there. <laughs> uh, we get all the good notifications, uh, interesting shots and things, and is that people don't spam there, by the way. Yeah. So that's the the best thing I feel like about about the channel. Nice. Yes, I miss Baiju's YouTube on the weekends. And either you will get something very soon. Very soon, yes. We have everything in store for you all. Sunday fun facts are the best. Nice, yeah. Fun facts are the best. Right. Okay. So now, of course, we'll get started, Sarab. Yes. And we're going to start with a very interesting questions for which I think we can ask us. them first. Yeah. So, how many of you have heard about Michael Phelps? Right? How many of you have heard about him? Telegram is the best. Vidya is new. Hi, Vidya. Yes. All right. Oh, a lot of them I've heard, but some of them are saying no. Wow, that's interesting. Nice. Yes. A lot of them are saying me. Some of them are saying no. Yes, of course we remember everybody who are there in the channel. A lot of them are saying no. It's okay. So I understand uh you know we might not be into Olympics or or those kind of sports. Now it is to you know we have cricket, we have football <laughs> and FIFA World Cup is coming. So that's why it's okay because a lot of things are happening in the world. You might not have heard the name. It's okay. But you know what? pretty interesting and pretty fascinating story of michael phelps so he is actually an international swimmer right and he holds a world record for being one of the greatest swimmers who are out there 28 medals total and this is the world record till now wow that's actually amazing do you know i cannot swim <laughs> me too <laughs> <laughs> so two non swimmers talking about one of the great swimmers who are out I'm, there i'm asking my wife to learn swimming so that you know If somehow we both have to start drowning, someone should be there to save me. So, so yeah, that's why. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know swimming, but yes, at age seven, can you believe it? Uh, he was afraid to put his face in water. He has a what hydrophobia we call it. No? Yeah, he was actually very scared, and you know, and back then, so he started swimming when very young. He they used to call him a rookie swimmer. and he was afraid to put his name i mean his face into the water like he was very scared to swim but surprisingly over time what he has done by age 15 he broke the first world record you age 15 woo nice yes and they're all mind blown that 28 medals i think they're still stuck with that fact that 28 medals right Yes, he was a swimming champ. Exactly our point that somebody who is now a swimming champ was initially scared to swim. So sort of maybe if we get over our fear, we could. So you get the the important thing that line was so important, no? That he was afraid of water, but at fifteen he broke his first world record. This is saying, uh, a person cannot even write anything, and today let's say they are a PhD or something, you know. You think a person afraid of water at fifteen breaking the world record and being a world swim champion, right? So this tells you what he might have gone through, right? Yes, definitely, definitely. And of course, by the age of twenty-three, he became the most successful swimmer, and he actually holds the world record for having those many medals as well, right? Hydrophobic. Hydrophobic is something we say in bio also, right? Yeah. Both the things and substances that don't like water. Yes, of course we remember you, Dhruvi. Right, we do. Like failing in all classes and getting first in tenth. Kind of. You know, we all can resonate. The reason we are we are talking about Michael Phelps here because it's not a swimming class, right? The reason we are talking about him is because we want to learn something about this person who was so afraid at some point of his life 
and then he achieved something which was like unacceptable or unimaginable right. so that's why we are talking about michael phelps and same thing we can resonate with all our lives some right. point of time you were scared of something but then you overcome that right something came on to you when you said nahi yaar isko to kar hi lenge so that thing is something which you know i, I can see all of you are saying ke i was also afraid of this thing or that thing yeah ha huh, mathematical phobia <laughs> science <laughs> phobia <laughs> nice raj <laughs> But we'll all overcome that, right? So that is the whole intent of it. Yes, of course. He's like selling medals. But do you uh, just uh, let me ask all of you? Do you think in these this duration where you know, from being so afraid and to being a champion, do you think he would have faced points in his life where he feel like giving up? Arey, I, what am I doing? What should I do? Right, these kind of points. Why am I doing it? Why am I doing it? Right. So these kind of thing. Do you feel uh, he might not have faced them, or do you think he would have faced such things? What do you think? Yes, champion. What is C A? Are you calling uh, chartered accountant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, Gungun says she's faced it. Right, or right. he would have faced it. Okay, all right, champion. He's bathing with med. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. So that's a good thing, sir. Hasamran. Everybody faces it. That's true. You know, nobody is like a superhuman. Okay, boy. Life is all sorted. One day I slept, and next morning I was a champion. Like, oh ho! Oh. It doesn't <laughs> happen like that, right? So we all have our journey, and you also have your journey. We also have had our journey. So that's why. we need something in between and we call it motivation yes right? sometimes it is external sometimes it is internal but you know what we all need motivation definitely we need it at all walks of life it's not just that they as students need motivation now but later on you don't need it no you need to motivate yourself constantly it's a journey of life i would say i know it sounds very philosophical but i think it's true right at every point of life it's very important that you are able to stay motivated so very technically if you don't know we have to define definition i mean you know motivation because we tend to do that yeah. what is it it's nothing but a process that initiates guides maintains goal oriented behaviors i think that's very important right that goal orientation goal driven True. i think that's very important so yes. in in very simple terms you can just think of it as uh, you have a goal in your mind you are moving towards it in between there are times when you fall when you feel tired when you feel like sitting down you need something to make you just get up and start moving again right in yeah. very simple terms that is one thing that is what we are calling as motivation yes right of course all right that that's very important and see again like i can see a lot of you have inspirations also right you are inspired by somebody you want to become like someone because there's something that drives you that in itself is actually also a goal right that True. you want to build those sort of behaviors like the other person so that's also great that you have that how to choose our inspiration that is a very deep question there right how to choose who you are inspired by i would say this uh the more uh you know you take care of what is in your surroundings a lot of times we we take inspiration from our surroundings yeah. sometimes from your teachers sometimes from a friend sometimes from an elder sometimes i would say autobiographies help yeah right all the famous personalities you look up to today if you tell me that i want to be a scientist i want to be a space researcher i would say go ahead read about dr ab abdul kalam because you might find inspiration over there thinking that you know what the problems i'm facing he mm. faced in his life and that will inspire you right so that's why just keep your eyes and and your mind and ears open look for the the related stories what you are trying to do yes Deepashri says, "My inspiration is my mother. That's amazing. Beautiful. Very amazing. Yes. Now, of course, that is one way, right, of keeping yourself goal oriented and building those behaviors. But why again is motivation very important? So, very quickly, we'll take you through this because I feel like a lot of this understanding of motivation comes from understanding based on situations, right? Like 
based on situations like a lot of you are telling me, right? We have also faced and that's the important conversation. But motivation is important because it helps in achieving what we want to do at the end of the day, right? Build, it helps in building ourselves as people. Yes. Yes. Nice, nice Palak. And yes, space researcher, uh, we have done a session on that. Not at study. So Lakshmi, hold on, this session is for you. Yes, for all of you. So, right, like I said, Saurabh, I think when you talk about motivation, right, I mean, this of course very technical and, you know, we're giving you very technical pointers. But I think when we were talking about it, we realized, right, that I think it's important that we take personal experiences from the questions that you all asked us and based on that we tell right how to stay motivated because in in all your uh, stages of life no you feel different different problems yeah at these in this point of your life your problems are not like my boss is harsh i'm feeling broke so these are not your problems your problems are i'm not going to feel motivated enough yeah. to study right the thing which uh, who was saying? Lakshmi was Lakshmi saying. Was telling. Right? So these are your problems. So let's focus on that first. Right. So here are some questions, right? So here time for queries. We will be answering some of the questions, which we, there are just very few questions. I think broad umbrella questions, I would say, because a lot of it were very sim simple, right? So the first question at sort of, I think is a very popular question is that, ooh, yeah. How do we stay motivated, right? When there are so many distractions, right? How many of you feel this, right? Can you all quickly tell us how many of you feel that there are way too many distractions around me and this is going to be very tough for me to stay motivated, right? Yes. Doctor, the ma'am will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them are saying ma'am is so small. <laughs> See, a lot of them are there. A lot of time, no? And we have done uh, quite enough shots also on this, a lot, lot of sessions also. You are just studying and you feel like tiding. So you are studying, but you know what your mind goes like, Arey yaar, a message came, a message came, a message came, a message came. Arey, lete hain. let's just, oh, and then you start sitting and you're replying to it. Sometimes you feel like my favorite serial or cartoon yeah. or, you know, things are coming. So all these are sometimes you feel, you know, distractions are there in my life. That's why I don't feel motivated. Yes. So these distractions are very common and sometimes I'm telling you this is going to be something which I'm sure a lot of them will be able to relate to. How many of you just feel lazy, right? I just don't want to do this today. I'm not doing homework. I'm just going to sit, right? How many of you feel that? Start surfing on the internet. Yes, of course that happens, right? There are a lot of aerospace engineers coming. No, not me. Oh, Mr. Bunny says I'm very lazy. Right. See, a lot of you feel, see, again, one thing to understand is that, right, is that, of course, everybody's distractions are different. Don't feel that everybody will have the same kind of distractions, True. right? So it's all very different from person to person. So sort of, how do we stay motivated when you have these many distractions? If you have these many distractions, no. I would say uh, there are more technical words. If I'm very lazy, I have, I have one very bad habit, I mean, since my childhood, it's, you don't do something until it's the end moment. Yeah. So you know that. <laughs> so, so ma'am knows the word. <laughs> so, so this is one of the thing with me. Uh, if I tell you that how to overcome this, there are ways. And it's more like one or two times, no, you, you miss something and then you, you become, uh, you know, good at this. Because I have missed like, once or twice I missed a, a train, a flight because of this. Because you know what, I'm always like, uh, okay, no, we'll just, <laughs> it will take me 15 minutes. Okay, then I'll just go. Mm. So once or twice you, you lose something, then you realize, Arey, it should not be done. Because yeah. I have realized if you do something at time, no, you, f you won't feel that, uh, what do I say, end moment kind of thing. Mm. That's why if you do it in the starting, you feel relaxed. Then you can just chill. At time you have you have done everything all right now you can just relax and take a look back in exam also this used to happen yeah so uh, do it timely don't procrastinate and just stay motivated because if you do it on time no you will have time to at least have a look back and revise and just analyze it otherwise you won't even get time to think back what happened there yeah 
You're then just rushing to finish it off. Like how sir said about the exam, right? I think that is again something I will be able to relate to because I am somebody in the beginning, I'll be very slow, I'll be writing very slowly. Then only towards later, I realize that I don't have enough time left and I have a lot of answers. So I think apart from procrastination and another very important thing is time management, right? Understand how to manage your time well. So we have taken a lot of classes on time management as well. I think Tarana ma'am took a class on how to manage time effectively, yes. right? So you can go check all of that out. But most important thing is that if you've told yourself 15 minutes, I will study. Even if it is just 15 minutes, you do 15 minutes in 15 minutes, you have a lot of focus, right? You will achieve so much in yeah, that. You have done a session uh, on this, no? The Pomodoro technique. No, that was uh, in the other channel. Oh. We are yet to do it for six to eight. <laughs> But we'll be doing it very soon. Yes, all right. So yes, I know procrastination is a feeling, but manage your time well, right? And I think it takes practice. No, it's not going to be something that today, yes, I have decided I'm going to manage my time, so I will be able to do it. It happens. It's a process, right? So I think you would be able to agree with and me. And distraction thing too, I have just realized it's better wherever you are studying. Uh, turn or just put it on airplane mode. Yeah. Now I understand what you will say, sir, we have to watch YouTube, we have to study on YouTube, yeah. means we have to turn the net on. So just switch off the WhatsApp or the social media notifications yes. for that duration. I understand you will say, sir, I was watching YouTube, suddenly a notification of WhatsApp came. So turn off those notifications for those time, right? Yeah. You can do it by the way, those are smartphones and we can use them smartly. So use that and just study and then you just watch whatever you want to do as a break or as a, mm -hmm. as a treat for you. Okay? Nice. Huh? That's good, Gungun. Yes. Uh, uh, Palak, that's true for a lot of us. <laughs> it happens with us also sometimes. You go to YouTube to watch something which is important. You wanted that and then suddenly you're like, Achha, oh, some notification came. <laughs> Let's watch this also. Yes. Very good. You can use timers so that you cannot be distracted. Very good. Very good. Now we have another second question, Saurav. I think this is something that's happened to a lot of us, right? There are other people and someone tell me, my panchayati friends, <laughs> other people who may demotivate us, how do we overcome that? First of all, uh, demotivating friends, we should realize, are my friends demotivating? Yeah. Because friends are important, no doubt, because we all need friends. It's very difficult just to, you know, be a lone wolf. Yeah. So we all need friends, but it's important we all need good friends, right? You don't want friends who spread negativity. You don't want friends who bring you down. Because you know, you don't want those people in life. No, you feel like today I'm going to do something. And suddenly you talk to someone, they're like, uh, I don't think I can do anything. Let's just yeah. sleep. You don't want those kind of people in life. No? So that's why. Yes, it, <laughs> it, it happens, right? And most often, I think, like you were saying, right, even sometimes during exams also, right, there will be some students who may feel that, oh, I did, even if they have studied, right, there's a lot of inner negativity that comes as well, which says that it's very funny how we think about it this way, but sometimes within ourselves, we have these, you know, we are, have a critical part of us that says, no, you have not studied enough, this is not enough. And that's also, in a way, sometimes we tend to demotivate ourselves also, right? So I'll tell you what, what, what used to happen there. If, if Ma'am is studying now and, and she will call, uh, call a friend with me. So I, I'm just saying, I haven't never studied anything. You know what? I think I'm going to fail. And she's like, okay. And then when you just put your phone, what is your reaction? Oh my God, did I even study? <laughs> Have I done my work properly? Have I studied? Right? So those are things that you start asking yourself. Like, so you in this, studied? there are two types of friends. One friend was who is saying, I haven't studied anything. I think I'll fail. Oh my God, very difficult. It's so tough. One friend is like, yeah, yeah, revision to 10 times I've revised. <laughs> I'm done, all set. It's just nothing. It's, it's just so easy. So these two types of people bring you very down, which I have noticed in, in my experience. Be aware, okay? Just be cautious. Right. See, we have to always, you know, be positive, right? I mean, we've taken so many sessions on that as well, on confidence, how to overcome shyness, right? I think it's very important that you are positive in all ways, not just to yourself, but to your friends also, right? Yes. So we are like, that's why sometimes you will find all of us walking into each other's sessions. That's how we motivate one another. <laughs> <laughs> Class K backbencher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. 
but it's okay so see one way is to overcome this right is that you need to have a strong sense of self this way and again it's a process wherein if you feel that somebody is demotivating you or bringing you down just tell yourself that no i've got this and i know that i have prepared tell yourself do those affirmations like you were saying right so it's very important that you do that yes a lot of them are saying that they don't get demotivated in such situations they have a very strong nice. sense of confidence as well that's actually very great and if you're saying you don't have good friends i, I just want to say one thing first of all everybody likes positive people so if you are positive now you will attract positive people and now it doesn't work like in electrostatics right like posts do not repel each other if you are a positive person you will get positive people in your life okay here like posts attract each other kind of thing yeah right yes good company matters yes true nikhil right so a lot of you are saying i used to lakshmi you are saying you, you used to get used to demotivate yourself don't say that lakshmi i mean if it happens in, in the past it's okay but now tell yourself those positive affirmations no i've got this i will be able to do it and just try right i think that's very important if you're scared to do something just try i think we always tell that individually as well now we are telling coming together and telling that that just try what you want to do right same thing with negative people also <laughs> <laughs> okay now we have question number 3 Mm, this I think is a very important question, no? This, this the uh, how many of you have felt this this question or this situation has happened with you in your life? How many of you feel this? How some days I just don't feel like doing anything. And how do I overcome this? Weather is really good in Bangalore, you know. In the morning, <laughs> a lot of times it feels like, अरे कुछ मन नहीं कर रहा करने, I don't want to do anything. we also feel this it's not that you know we are like yay and all that <laughs> it happens there are days when we also feel it i think it's very important to put that out there and to them also i'll i'll confess you know sometimes it happens in the morning ke feeling tired feeling like you feel feverish should i come should i go we have a session oh yeah i don't know these things happen with us also it's not like we are some out of the world kind of thing you know we yeah. we are not ideal things normally teachers do that they show that they are very ideal we are not that's it's, what makes us human <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you need to know we're all on the same boat we feel this ha huh, in winter sunday definitely for me definitely it's saturday and sunday saturday Sat- i i don't want to get up <laughs> saturday sunday you feel like it's up this is my right <laughs> i can do i can just say i don't want to do anything over sleeping ha huh? yes true that happens over sleeping is there So in such days, or what do we do, right? How do we motivate ourselves? So I think uh, this is. There comes a point when you know you are just so fed up with this habit of yours that you know what? Ah, uh, I'll have to get up because in the morning, I can give you those uh, mantras also which people give. Okay, the moment you hear an alarm, just get up. Don't don't sleep again. Don't uh, turn off the fan. Go and wash your face. Go and drink hot tea. It's okay, but uh, let me tell you, all this is fine. But what you need first of all is you need a reason for you to get up. Yeah. So the moment you hear that alarm, no, just think, why did you want to get up? And create that plan beforehand because sometimes I'll tell you what happened. The moment you get up, no, you feel like I should lie down and think, what should I do? Yeah. And that is the moment you drift off again. Yes. So your your goal should be clear and you should have a reason to get up. That's important. So I think like Saurabh sir said, no, planning, right? Plan one day before in the night that I have these 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 things to do and I do that because when I know that I have all these things to do, I'm more prepared for my day, right? So I think that's very important. And again, it also helps with your productivity. Sorry, sir, I have a very big habit of writing a lot, so. No, you have a good handwriting also. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, productivity, right? If we want to build up productive habits, this is how you start, right? And the feeling. Don't ever criticize yourself for feeling this way that I don't feel like doing anything. Maybe I'm not productive enough, right? And these kind of thoughts. eventually would lead to demotivation right so i think that is very important that you focus on the fact that you again affirm yourself that these are ways in which i can make things better right making list then feel like i won't do anything hmm we'll come to this point pavni this is there in this issue yes again another thing that i would like all of you to tell me right or i mean i would want you all to let me know how many of you get very overwhelmed planning your time table 
I think this is something where they all get demotivated, right? When they have to plan their timetable. And that is when it goes to, I don't want to do anything today. Yes? Because let me tell you one reason why this happens. Whenever you are planning a timetable, no. You the first time you start realizing, oh, I have to do all these things. Yeah. I never realized. Yes, not me. See, for those of you who are not worried about it, it's good, right? It's all different for everyone there. Of course, me. Yes. So what, so what would you do if this thing happens? I think the most important thing is the kind of goals that we set in the timetable, right? Because True. what happens is in a day between two hours, I set out to do 10 things. Then you will not even do one thing because you're like, oh, I have 10 things to do. I just have two hours. Nothing is going to happen. So I think it's very important to have realistic goals, right? In such cases. Do we? I think we have that, no? Yeah, we do have realistic goals, but I think I brought that point out much earlier. But I think it's very important because a lot of it, I feel like when they feel this is when they do the timetable True. to make to-do lists. Yes, hundreds of timetables and you cannot follow them. I do understand. So this is where make realistic goals. Start out with small steps, right? Just I will do only five questions today. I think when something as small as that is very important to build, right? And uh, consistency is very important because if you make this timetable once in a month, you feel like covering the whole month of thing in that one particular day of time. The first day, if you feel like, no, I'll run every day. The first day you go for running, you will be like, Aaj yeah. I, let's just, let me just run today 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 2 kilometers and just nice. Then I'll feel like tomorrow I'll do more. No. The first day you think so much and next day you feel like, oh, done. So it's okay. It's it's a, it's a phase, you know. Yeah. You start with something, you are not able to do it. Then you plan something else, not able to do it again. It happens and it is supposed to happen. That's why we tell you, you know, make mistakes. Do as many mistakes you want because every time you make something, you are bound to either reach it or not reach it. But in both ways, no, you have something to get out yeah, of it. Yeah, definitely. Then we have question number four, very simple one. Nice, Palak. Yes, good Frinda. That's we should start small. Yeah. So sometimes it so happens that no matter what I do, if I do my timetable, I am being productive, I am, you know, getting motivated, moving towards my goal. Sometimes I'm not really achieving my goal. So have you ever felt this? And I think this right here, this thought right here is the biggest source of demotivation, right? Yes. While planning my day. But I feel the Vrinda's comment is very good there. We should start small. Yeah. Planning may just make tangible or achievable goals. Today, if I'm going to get up at this particular time, it's okay. Maybe I got 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late, but still I'll yeah. get up. I'll go to school. Maybe I thought I'll, I'll revise something before going to school, but maybe I was not able to. Mm. I'll improvise. Okay. So evening may, maybe I'll compensate with my playing time a little bit. If I was supposed to play for one hour or half an hour, maybe I'll just do it for 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I'll compensate something. Mm -hmm. So it's just you fight with yourself. You promise yourself something. You do something. It's, it's more about you, right? Yes. We tend to give up, right? And like how Saurabh sir said, don't, comprom don't ever let go of the thing entirely, right? Yes. We tend to give up in such situations where, oh, I was supposed to get up at 6 o'clock, but I woke up at 6.10, gone. Gone. <laughs> huh? My plan is ruined. Now my whole day is gone. Yeah. I will not plan anything. Because I used to do that, you know, when I was... Let me tell you, I like to plan my day and all of that, but most of the time from when I will plan to wake up at one time, I wake up at another time altogether. And I used to do this a lot. That That's it. Whatever I plan today is nothing. And you know me, I'm very overly planned sometimes. I'm I'll start fresh tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> this happens. Ki today to, are ya, today whatever I planned did not happen. Tomorrow I'm going to try again fresh. And you want everything to be perfect. Nothing is perfect by the way. Yes. And it takes you a while to figure that out, right? It's, I know a lot of us are oriented towards perfection. But sometimes... It's not. It's going to be messy. Okay, just we have to accept that, right? Take it in our stride and work along like how Saurabh says it. Compensate it somewhere else or maybe, you know, realize that it's not going to be there. So is being too relatable today. <laughs> because what a problem you are telling, no? We have seen that. Yeah. We have faced that and few of them we are still facing now. It's not like everything is sorted. You just learn to sort of work around that. Yeah. This planning thing I still have. <laughs> I'll come with 10 things like yesterday I will do all 10. End of the day I would have done maybe only 3. 
because yes. those three were very time taking right and then there are days when i feel bad about it like oh so much seven seven of it is left i what will i do and sort of sort of seen that also <laughs> so we we both know what are our shortcomings what are our strengths what are our weaknesses and that's a good thing if your yeah. timetable does not life uh, last more than 2 days it's okay i'm just saying ki it's not it doesn't mean you don't know how to make a timetable you just have to improvise every time theek hai this works this doesn't work every time you are just trying to figure that out that's what we do right right so now i think a last question which i'm sure a lot of them would be asking is what motivates us to teach every day because you told right there are days yes there are days where we feel like we don't know right i mean should we go do we take the class maybe we are having a bad day right yes so we feel that but i think sort of sir this is something so before we go to the answer of this question so we saw a lot of questions no uh, which were more relatable to your life okay yeah. we told you a lot of things right some relatable some you feel like it it can become sir uh, ma'am you told us a lot of things think of the biggest motivation in your life and in your form itself you told us for some it was the parents yeah for some it was good friends for some it was uh, learning something new for some it was something figure out that key thing because you know what uh, i would still say whatever i do how much i love teaching there are days same thing with you how many plans i make you should have that one single line one biggest motivation yeah. which should be there every time right if all others don't work at least that one thing will help you and same thing with us yeah there is just one particular thing which helps us every time and that is something which makes us to come every day in front of you guys and that is you yeah <laughs> sounds very cheesy i know it sounds very cheesy but that's true actually because i feel i and i'll be very honest here there are days when you know maybe i've had a very difficult day and i'll have a class at 6 and um, especially with all of them no they'll be there before the class they'll be talking they're like oh did you see this i was in this class this menti session was so great and i get it's like everything else all other problems just vanish you know then i'm like i have to take this class i need to make sure that they enjoy the class today so i am not kidding these are some comments that are very close to our heart we've just picked few but there were so many right there were so many it was very difficult to put everything on the screen of course because we have taken so many sessions and so many if you have commented so very quickly whatever could come that came so doesn't it doesn't mean that your name isn't there just think it otherwise think it from our point of view yeah. right we just have these in front of us and this gives us a motivation that nahi yaar evening mein na we have this class to teach and all those thing all those people will come and you know uh, we remember names now actually yeah. <laughs> so yes so this is our motivation same thing i'm asking you to do it to think what is that motivation you want right yes laziness to uh, vrinda with with practice it will come i mean the same thing how to practice a concept no the more numericals you do laziness has be same cheez hai if you are lazy you'll need to work it out doing that again and again and again in in multiple ways Yes, we're now going to call out names again because again, I think it's very important that all your names are there, right? Yes, all. So you should know. Have you ever done this? Because if you know in yourself, means we also know. Okay, it's okay if your name is name is not there. Okay, you should know. Did you? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for that, Gun Gun. We feel very nice. So I think sort of so we can wrap it up by quick telling and you know consolidating this into points, right? Yes. So we've told you so many things, but now just to tell you some quick pointers, five ways to stay motivated. This is more like the summary we do in the end of a session. Yes. So first thing is of course to set realistic goals. Like we told you, when you are planning your day, don't plan ten things. Plan the things that you can do in that day, right? So be very realistic about what all you can do. If you can't do it today, it's okay. see if you can accommodate it in your plan tomorrow and so that's why don't complete too much of homework at one go break it down so <laughs> answer your anita your answer is there in the first point itself realistic goals yes second point is to have a support system right so here we are your support system your family is your support system yes your friends are there as well the good positive friends that we were talking yes. about you guys are Our sub, uh, support system. Yes. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that would have made a punchline. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. 
so that's one thing then of course next thing is to recognize roadblocks right so to figure out like what are the problems that they are facing so in a day if you know that you have not done something or i'm not able to do you know do something figure out what is there and i think they're very clear about their roadblocks like i i, I am someone who's lazy or i have that's a, that's a very good thing i mean how will you solve a problem if you don't know what is the problem right first of all it's important to realize or accept it's a problem let's solve it now how to solve it is something will we'll come later but first of all we need to realize no, what is the problem so recognize your roadblocks that is exactly what we are asking you how will you solve them if how will you know that how to overcome the roadblock right then of course be nice to yourself this is important because a uh, lot of chats were there no uh, i i'm so lazy or you know what i just feel like i i'm i'm just demotivated uh be nice to yourself yeah. even if you are not able to achieve that time table sometimes we tend to give ourselves punishments <clears throat> no i'm so bad i'm just so lazy i'm mm. so bad uh, i mean I, i'm just so uh, what do we say i'm not good i'm not good <laughs> i can't do it yeah be nice to yourself so that's i think very important thing i think sir has covered it all last but not the least celebrate the small victories that are there we celebrated when we see those comments you know we don't done those experiments and when you really like it we actually we even celebrated on the session as well right yeah i mean a session went well you celebrate right you were, previously you were not willing to come you did something then you feel good and that's that's your award that's your achievement that's your celebration right so you also do it Yes yeah, so very quickly guys i feel like all of you should just celebrate this moment so in the chat lot of emojis where you're clapping i saw gun gun clapping so i want all of you to just clap and pat for yourself right because i think that is very important that you do that so just take this one second where you are quickly clapping and patting yourself and you are celebrating you right yes, yes. we are all amazing that's a very important line we are all amazing yes keep it going guys keep it going that's so nice authentic. very good sushi <laughs> yes that's brilliant guys so take this minute and appreciate yourselves and do that at all times because every day is just a chance to be better yes we will end on a very nice note every day is a chance to be better and motivation you know what every time you won't get it like a vaccine from outside you have to build it like antibodies <laughs> <laughs> a biology joke about motivation <laughs> So yeah just just be motivated and self motivation is the best i would say yeah definitely all right guys so quick reminder on the mini learning program use the code yt free code it's a limited time offer right and you know that our channel is cover we cover we are, we have got you covered <laughs> yes <laughs> yes So now if you like this video let us know in the comment section because now you know right how much your comments mean to us so all of you be please please put it in the comment section let us know if you like these videos and you want more such videos from Saurabh sir and me Nice I feel Palak you are telling us that you have got us covered <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yes. So go ahead like share your thoughts uh, because you know we all read the comments which you do right so put your problems put your motivations put the problems you are facing okay just go ahead feel free to just open up don't yeah. worry hai na all right guys and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about us as well so that they can be a part of it because we've got all of them covered and we said the no, positivity attracts positivity yeah so if you are a good person and you feel like this helped you you should be sharing with your person <laughs> other friend who wants it or who needs it right so that's why sharing is also important go ahead share it Nice, very good. All right, guys. So I think then we can wrap it yes. up, right? Yes. Stay motivated and keep just just believing in yourself. That's enough. Thank you, everyone, for joining and take care. We'll see each other again in the next session. Bye bye. Bye.